what if we look at doing bulk deals for properties? Is that even possible? Can we get a discount? Let's find out. I think that bulk deals right, is something that is a very old concept. You think about it in the world, I think bulk deals is happening everywhere in the world. Right? Let's talk about commodity product first. I think in the US, obviously, we have companies like Costco. Right, when you actually go to Costco, right, you're able to buy like one or two cartons of pampers, I mean, uh, diapers, yeah. anything like that. You get it at a cheaper price point, right? Like for example, if you want to like be like buying soft drinks at Costco, right, yeah. they don't sell you by the can, like one can of Coke or what so, right? They will sell you like 12 pet bottles, yeah. right? The whole big bottles. Yeah, exactly. So, so the whole point is that when you are able to buy in bulk, right, the the retailer is willing to sacrifice the margin in mm. terms of percentage, but they look at the overall profit that they make. So what do I mean by this? Let's take for example, if you are buying something mm. for ten dollars, right, and the uh, and the uh, and the retailer makes. 10%, yep. they make $1. Yeah. But if they sell you the same 10 bottles, right, mm. instead of selling it at $10, right, and they sell at $9.50, yeah. they will be making just 50 cents. Exactly. Right? But 50 cents times 10 bottles is $5. It's $5 uh, it's be more, better right? than $1. Exactly. exactly. Yes. And it's pretty much almost the same effort if you think about it in a sense. So actually, in this whole world, right, this concept is not new. Even in business point of view, mm. right, there's usually the supplier, distributors, and end retailers, right? So mm. why do distributors even is able to make that margin? Because when they buy from supply, they buy in bulk. Mm. They buy in bulk, they get the dog price, but they sell it at retail price. So that's where they make the margin itself. So that's for, I think, comes a very interesting thought, right? Why can't this be done for property? In fact, if I were to think about it, right, if you go to a Singapore developer today and say you are buying with your family, that means your mother one and you 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 have one unit, so you buy two units and one unit, actually it's not that uncommon to actually request for a 1% discount. Do hmm. you know that? You in fact you either get a priority to choose your unit first. If not, then you can actually get a discount. It's really not that uncommon. Of course, in the hot market itself, it gets tougher to get a discount. But this is something that is actually been practicing for many, many years. And it's also possible to be doing this with, together with like friends or communities. Yes. And do you think that this is a win for the developer too? Is this a win-win situation? I think definitely yes, right? Because to really acquire a client and as a developer, right? if I put myself in developer point of view, I still need to spend X amount of marketing dollars to actually acquire multiple clients from different demographics. So therefore, why don't I just give a discount to the same buyer if they were to buy two or more, right? I save on my marketing costs, mm. I pass that on these savings to the, the, the buyer, mm. and I still achieve my end objective of selling property. So I think this is where it becomes a very interesting concept. I think I think largely when it's not about deals for property, right? the challenging thing is this is not easy to find multiple buyers, all right, to really come into a development and commit to let's say 10 units or 20 units and that's always a tough point however if you think about it in that scenario a lot of billionaires in the world mm. they don't buy one unit they buy one unit by one unit i think it's going to be a waste of their time right they're probably going to a building and buy one floor plate mm. and because of they buy, buy one floor plate let's say there's one floor plate it consists of 10 units right they get a better price point and because they always get a better price point than every single one of the retail investors they always pretty much guarantee to make money. But Sean, we are not billionaires yet or like <laughs> we're not trying to talk about billionaire strategy, right? So True. how can this be done? Now, now if I were to do it, right, I think very simple. If I can gather 10 friends, hmm. all right, and each one buy one unit, and we submit the order together with to the developer, hmm. all right, I think the developer will be able to look at that as a 10 unit bulk deal, all right, and give us a discount. So the moral of the story is to have a lot of friends. Huh? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I mean, in a way, right? I mean, you either have a lot of friends or in, in this scenario, of course, you can also join maybe an investor group, all right? Mm. That actually look at, have the same investing ideology. Mm. Yeah. And therefore, with that, I mean, that's where you can gather resources together, all right? To really ban them by multiple units. Of course, each buy one of your own unit, right? But that being said, you then have the opportunity of a billionaire by mm. just coming together to get discounts. So just, I want to give you a thing in this context. Like imagine a new launch in Singapore. You can gather 10 buyers today, all right, and go to a developer and say, hey, before you put it out to the market, why don't you sell 10 units to us first, hmm. all right? You sell 10 units to us, we just ask for a three to 5% discount. So by the time you launch the public, okay, you're already going to make 
get 3 to 5% in your pocket. And if the development loans do well, they will likely develop or of course want to increase their margins and they'll start increasing the price point as usual. And that's where you get a full so-called benefit, mm. right? From discount to increase in price point. And that is how we can make money in know, This pretty much guarantees your profit to a certain level. So this is where it becomes so beautiful. Right. Mm. I think this I think the tough part is always to gather enough people mm. to really create the demand mm. for a particular project. Of course, we, before buying any property, right, please make sure you do the due diligence. Yeah, of course, of course. Doesn't yeah, make definitely, sense, right? Definitely. Yeah. Right. With the resales in the area or the other new launches in the area. But mm. when after you make do the due diligence and it makes sense, right, then this bulk deal movement, right? can be something very powerful. Exactly, right? So I think this is something just for every one of you guys to really consider, right? I think mm. about deals in property is going to be the future, mm. all right? And if Community you want to be by. part of the future, all right, then you might want to join a committee. Of course, you join a committee, there's no better than to me, lah, I quote. Okay, so we'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll hope you you learn something and so please if, come yeah, find so us. So if you guys want to look at potentially getting involved in bulk deals, mm -hmm. yeah, it's something that um, we have been doing and we have been getting awesome deals in the market as well. Mm. Alright, you know what? Find out more. Enjoy the bulk deal discounts. Alright, when given access. We'll see you soon, guys. Right, see you. Bye. Bye.